Assalamu alaikum my dear students hope you are well by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NIBS home school this is Mahmud Imdadul assistant teacher of mathematics national ideal english version school Deshik. dear students today i am going to conduct a higher mathematics class of class 10 our today's topic is exercise 9.1 question 5 2 4 6 these three questions of question 5 i have to solve in our today's class uh, this topic is the topic of half yearly 2022 dear students this is our lecture number two and homework number one two questions are given for your homework your homework is exercise nine uh, question five of five question five of five of exercise nine point one and example 15 at page 216 is given for your homework also dear students uh, when i will complete our today's class you will be able to solve the given homework okay dear students so let us see what i'll solve in our today's class so look at here our today's topic exercise 9.1 question 5 here we have to simplify three expressions are given it's mean, it means these three are three questions we have to simplify these three expressions okay dear students so at first three i'll solve question one at first so we can write here question one solution so i can write the given expression here at first that is a to the power three by two plus a b then we can write here by a b minus b cube minus here is square root a by square root a minus b square root a minus b we have to simplify this expression dear students here we can express the first term in the numerator that is a to the power 3 by 2 we can write a to the power half whole to whole cube as we know a to the power m whole to the power n means a to the power m n and here this is written a to the power 3 by 2 means a to the power half into 3 it means that a to the power half whole cube okay dear students so for this formula or the law of exponent ex, exponents we can write this so now we can write here a b everything will remain same now minus b cube minus square root a by square root a minus b ok dear students now if you notice here you will see here is a to the power half a to the power half means we can write here square root a square root a here is cube you can use cube plus a b we can write here a b minus b cube minus we can write square root a square root a minus b now we can write a q a square root a whole cube means we can write here a square root a as a cube means a product of a a and a so square root a whole cube means square root a into square root a into square root a these two square root will be equal to a and here is a square root a so we can write here square root a whole cube means a square root a plus a b here we can write now we can take b as common from the denominator here will be a minus b square here we can write square root a by square root a minus b so now what can we do we can take a as common from the numerator we can write, uh, write here square root a minus b here if we uh, if we want to write a as square root a whole square minus here is b square so now we can write square root a square root a minus b now we can consider square root a as a and b as b then we will get here a square minus b square so I apply the formula of a square minus b square that will be square root a plus b into square root a minus b then 
in the numerator we can write this will remain same square root a minus b now we can cut square root a plus b here sorry here is plus so this one should be plus we can cut square root a plus b not minus here as this is plus so this should be plus so here should be plus so we can cut this one so here will be a by b into square root a minus b here is minus so we can write here square root a by square root a minus b so now we can do the lcm here if we do the lcm this should be square root b into square root a minus b b into square root a minus b now if we divide this we will get only 1 1 into a means a now minus if we divide by this we will get here b into square root a so we can write this as a means square root a whole square minus b into square root a now we can write b into square root a minus b so now we can take square root a as common from the numerator we will get here square root a minus b and here is b a as common we can write here we will get here square root a minus b this is square root a minus b so now this two we can cut so we will get here square root a by b so this is our answer for the first question dear students i hope you have you have understood how to solve the first one and then i am going to solve the second one then i am going to solve the second one dear students now look at the second question what is the second question here second question is 1 by 1 plus a to the power m 1 by 1 plus a to the power m plus a to, a to the power minus m into b to the power n plus a to the power minus m into c to the power p plus 1 by now look at the question here i am uh, telling again 1 by 1 plus a to the power minus m into b to the power n plus a to the power minus m into c to the power p plus 1 by 1 plus b to the power minus n into c to the power p plus b to the power minus n into a to the power m plus 1 by 1 plus c to the power minus p into a to the power m plus c to the power minus p into b to the power n now i will solve this question so look at here solution we can write the given expression here that is 1 by 1 plus a to the power minus m b to the power n plus a to the power minus m c to the power p plus 1 by 1 plus here is b to the power minus n b to the power minus n c to the power p plus b to the power minus n a to the power m a to the power m plus 1 by 1 plus here is c to the power minus p c to the power minus p into a to the power m plus b to uh, c to the power minus p into b to the power n now dear students you know if a to the power minus n if it is a to the power minus so we can write this as a to the power 1 by a to the power n so we can write instead of a to the power minus m we can write here 1 plus a to the 1 by a to the power m as here is into b to the power n so we can write here b to the power n by a to the power m plus here we can write c to the power p by a to the power m plus now we can write this as 1 plus here is b to the power minus n so we can write c to the power p by b to the power n plus here is b to the power minus n so we can write a to the power m by b to the power n now go to the next question here is next part next part is 1 by 1 plus here is c to the power minus p so we can write a to the power m by c to the power p plus b to the power n by c to the power p c to the power p so now we can do the lcm in the denominator we can do the lcm in the denominator so we can write here 1 by this is a to the power m will be the lcm 
So if we divide by 1, we will get a to the power m. So we can write here a to the power m plus b to the power n plus c to the power p. We will get here. Now, in the next expression again, if we do the LC, we will get b to the power n. Now divide b to the power n by 1, we will get here b to the power n. So here will be b to the power n. Now, if we divide, we will get 1 as the quotient. We will get c to the power p plus here is also a to the power m. Now, next part is 1 by 1 plus, sorry, here will be c to the power p LCM. So, it will be c to the power p plus a to the power m plus b to the power n. Now, what should be the next line? Next line should be we can write here 1 as product here, we can write here a to the power m in the numerator, we can write a to the power m plus b to the power n plus c to the power p plus this should be 1 into b to the power n will go to the numerator and here will be a to the power m plus b to the power n plus c to the power p as every terms are positive here just we can change the position. So, we can write here 1 into c to the power p by you say a to the power m plus b to the power n plus c to the power p. So, now if we take the product, we will get a to the power m by a to the power m plus b to the power n plus c to the power p plus b to the power n by a to the power m plus b to the power n plus c to the power p plus. Then the next part that is c to the power p by a to the power m plus b to the power n plus c to the power p. So, now if we do the LCM here denominator of all the terms are same. So, LCM will be a to the power m plus b to the power n plus c to the power p as all the denominators are same just we need to add the numerator. So, we can write here a to the power m plus b to the power n plus c to the power p just I have added the numerator. Now, if you observe this here both the numerator and denominators are same. So, if we divide uh, we will get here only 1. So, this is our answer for question 2. Okay, dear students. So, I hope you have understood the solution of question 2. Now, I will solve question 3. Sorry, this one is question 4. Now, I will solve question 6. Now, I will solve question 6. Question uh, 3 and 5. 1, 3, 5, I did not write here as I am solving question 2. 4 and 6. Now, I will solve question 6. Okay, dear students. So, look at here question 6. What is question 6? Question 6 is question 6 is here a square minus b to the power minus 2 whole to the power a. Then a minus b to the power minus 1 whole to the power b minus y a divide by b square minus a to the power minus 2 whole to the power b into b plus a to the power minus 1 whole to the power a minus b. This is our given expression. We have to simplify this. Dear students, uh, if you observe this, you will see here to simplify this, we can write a square as a and b to the power minus 2 as b to the power minus 1 whole square. So, we can write a square minus b to the power minus 1 whole square. So, here whole power is given a, we can write uh, rest of the terms will remain same, rest part will remain same. So, now we can write here b square minus uh, this is a to the power minus 1 whole square, a to the power minus 1 whole square. So, we can write here, here whole power is b. So, we can write here a b plus b plus a to the power minus 1, b plus a to the power minus 1 whole to the power a minus b. Now, if you notice here, we can apply the formula of a square minus b square in both numerator and denominator here. So, if we apply, we will get here a plus b to the power minus 1 whole to the power a, we can divide or we can write the formula at first a minus b to the power minus 1, here whole power is a, now into a minus 
b to the power minus 1 whole to the power b minus a. Now, we can write this as b plus a to the power minus 1 whole to uh, into b minus a to the power minus 1 whole power is b. So, we can write here b plus a to the power minus 1 whole power is a minus b. Now, we can uh, give the powers or index separately. So, it should be a plus b to the power minus 1 whole to the power a into a minus b to the power minus 1 a minus b to the power minus 1 whole to the power a and here remaining a minus b to the power minus 1 whole to the power b minus a. Here we will get b plus a to the power minus 1 whole to the power b into b minus a to the power minus 1 whole to the power b into here is b plus a to the power minus 1 whole to the power a minus b. Now, if you notice here you will see a minus b to the power minus 1 whole to the power a into a minus b to the power minus 1 whole to the power b minus a. These two terms are same uh, as the base are same. So, we can add the index. So, we can write a plus b to the power minus 1 whole to the power a into we can write here a minus b to the power minus 1 whole to the power b minus a plus a. So, we can write here again here is both are positive same. So, we can write here uh, b plus a whole to the power minus 1 is equal to we can write here a minus b plus b a minus b plus b into we can write here a minus b whole to the power a minus b to the power minus 1 whole to the power b. So, we can write here if you notice here here is a a plus b to the power minus 1 whole to the power a and here is b plus a to the power minus 1 whole to the power if this plus b and minus b vanishes each other this should be a. So, now if you notice here uh, you will see plus a and minus a vanish each other. So, we can write here a minus b to the a minus b to the power minus 1 whole to the power b here will be a minus this should be b minus a b minus a not a minus b this should be b minus a not a minus b b minus a to the power minus 1. So, we can write here b minus a to the power minus 1 whole to the power b. So, now what can we write here dear students if you notice now here here a plus b to the power minus 1 whole to the power a here b plus a to the power minus 1 whole to the power a the index of both these expressions are same. So, we can write this as a plus b to the power minus 1 and b plus a to the power minus 1 whole to the power a into now go to the next portion here the expression is a minus b to the power minus 1 here b minus a to the power minus 1 here index is b here index is b. So, we can write here a minus a minus b to the power minus 1 by b minus a to the power minus 1 whole to the power b here index is b. So, we can calculate here now if we do the calculation we will get here this means a plus 1 by b as this is b to the power minus 1 it means b to the power minus 1 equal to 1 by b. So, we can write this now here we will get b plus 1 by a whole to the power a into we will get here a minus 1 by b by b minus 1 by a whole to the power minus whole to the power b. So, we can write here now this if we do the LCM we will get here B here will be A B plus 1 and here if you do the LCM you will get here LCM is A this will be A B plus 1 now whole to the power A into now if, if you do the LCM here this will be B. So, this is 
a b minus 1 and this is also LCM is a so a b minus 1 here whole to the power b. So, we can write here a b plus 1 by b into a b uh, into we can write this one now uh, as this is division. So, we have to uh, as I have given here is division I have given multiplication. So, I have to take the reciprocal fraction. So, a will go to the numerator and a b plus 1 will go to the denominator here index is a into here we can write the same a b minus 1 by b into a by a b minus 1 whole to the power b. So, now if you see here a plus a b plus 1 a b plus 1 we can cut here. So, this will be a by b whole to the power a into here is also a b minus 1 a b minus 1 means a by b whole to the power b. As both the expressions inside the bracket are same it means base are same. So, we can add the index a by b whole to the power a plus b. So, dear students I hope you have understood how to solve this question this is our answer of question 6. I hope you have understood how to simplify the expressions uh, keep practicing at home avoid by your parents and do your homework properly submit your homework timely dear students see you again till then assalamu alaikum